This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. A station that pays. This is MC Reggie Fresh on the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. And today, folks, we got Mr. Maurice White. He's in the building. What's going on, brother? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I can't call it, man. We talking about cutting that hair, man. Oh, well, I know all about that. The Talk to me. Hey, the barber business is the best business in the world, man. You better know it. Now, let me ask you this, man. First of all, where are you from? Detroit. You from Michigan. you from the D? Yes, sir. Well, actually, I'm from Ypsilanti, but don't nobody know where that's at. That's okay. a little town in Michigan. Okay, then. from Michigan. Well, what? What? Now, let me ask you this: How long you been cutting hair, man? Been cutting hair about uh about nine, ten years now. What made you want to become a barber? I got tired of getting my hair messed up, man. Yeah. Got tired of sitting in the chair and not liking the services. Didn't want to pay for it, so I figured I'd mess it up myself for free. <laughs> Okay, now, you know, a lot of barbers, there's a lot of barbers all over the world, and plus you got some in school and training and stuff like that. Uh -huh. What kind of advice would you give some of the upcoming barbers? My advice is, if this is not something you're trying to do for life, leave it alone. Because you, what you're doing is you're messing with somebody's head. You right. know, this is somebody that has to walk out all day, every day, be seen by everybody. And if your heart not into it, you're not going to put that into your work. You know, and this is somebody's status you're messing with. Okay. Now, if they do, do want to put their heart in and stuff like that, what do they need to do? As far as practice. getting clientele, practice. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Whoever going to let you get in their head, every chance you get, pick up some clippers, whether it's on your head or... Or your, your little brother, your cousin, your daddy, whoever. Just get some practice in. Practice makes perfect, man. That's what I'm talking about. Now, we're going we're gonna, to, I'm going to ask you this question right here. Out of all, if you was a barber owner, what would you do for all you barber owners out there or who wanted, who's becoming barber owners? What, what kind of advice would you have for them? Uh, as far as, you know, when you got, you know, the responsibilities this, that goes with it? Uh, what I would say is be understanding. You know, it, it, being a barber owner, you, your head kind of get blown up and you think you know everything. Right. But you can always learn from somebody. Exactly. Whether it's somebody coming up that just learned how to cut hair or somebody that's been in the game 50 plus years. You can always learn something. That's my motto. Stay humble. You know what I'm saying? Be willing to learn because it's something not a stuff I don't know. And it's stuff that I didn't talk people that's been in the game for a long time. Right. So just stay yeah. humble. Okay then. Now, give me give me your address for what bar the name of your barbershop. Uh, what else? Uh, what you specialize in, and all the things that you do, and how can you be reached? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm at the Fade Factory. Okay. In Huntsville, Alabama. Correct. And we're in the Target Plaza on University. The address is 6275 University Northwest, Suite 111 and 117. We got two suites inside of the facility. Okay. So, again, that's 6275 North University, Huntsville, Alabama, 35810. Okay, now, what you specialize in? Everything. From razor shave, straight razor with a hot towel and warm lather, to Caesar cuts, mohawks, faux hawks, uh, ball fades, low fades, high top fades. I love doing the box fades. Man. Okay, all right. Glad they coming all back. Right. The curl sponge. What for about the, the ladies? You uh, arch eyebrows ladies, and stuff like that? I can arch your eyebrows. I can do your lashes, individuals, and singles. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now... This, this, now I want to ask you this, man. You got any... Uh, now, first of all, give me your number. How can you be reached? I know you got the address. How can people reach you? 256-655-9285. Or they can reach me at www.thefadefactory.net. Okay, then, then you want to give anybody any shout-outs? Uh, yeah, uh... Let me shout out first my lady who has been my biggest support system. Uh, I want to shout out uh, 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 Marshall. Marshall, a.k.a. Biggs the Barber. He's the first one that gave me the opportunity into a barber shop. 
who really just paved the way for me. Uh, my Lord and Savior, who's always been making a way for me. And just everybody out there that believed in me and, and kept me going. Okay, then. And the last question I want to ask you. Could you please tell me what's the baddest station in the land and the baddest station that pays? Reggie Fresh Morning Show. You got it, folks. And there you have it. That's my main man, Maurice White. He's in the building on the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. The station that pays.